Come on, don't be shy. Ask us anything. Your favorite color, Sean? Black. Speaking about conflict resolution, uh, you know the role of city. I'm sorry, I believe you're speaking of conflict resolution, and unfortunately, the role of city council is more of a, a customer service role than it is being pat on the back. It, it's it's get on city council is going to be my job to take all the complaints and the problems that we have in town, find solutions for those problems. That's the same thing I do with my small business. If something's going good, I try not to look at it too much because it's going good. I look at everything that's wrong. I find solutions for it and I fix it. If there's a problem that a resident has with the community, I think everybody that I've talked to, everybody that I've called on the phone, everybody <coughs> has my personal cell phone number and they know they can call me, dare I say, at two o'clock in the morning if they have a problem. If there's a water main thing and they can't get a hold of anybody in the city, whatever it is, that's gonna be my role on council is to help everybody get out that I possibly can. <coughs> I have two degrees in speech communication, so I'm trained to work with people one-on-one -on -one, as well as team building and public speaking uh, situations. As a debate coach, like I told you, I've, I've, I've trained many students on communication skills. As a professor advisor, I work with various populations. Uh, my cell phone number is on all my signs. All of my students, in fact, have my cell phone number and can always text me or call me day or night. Um, I would say with me, you know the work is going to get done. Regardless if you agree or disagree, people in this community know that when something comes up that needs we need to speak upon, um, I have done so, and my track record is very clear on this, especially this year. Um, we were very vocal and very active, and you know at the end of the day that I will be the one to speak for your voices. We don't, the mortgage crisis demonstrates that it's deleterious for us to have a unanimous council. And I would be the one on the council that would not, would keep, be your watchdog, that would keep in check the budgets as well as how we administer public policy. I would say, because having grown up here, I, I can't really afford to have any form of conflict because <laughs> I've lived here almost my entire life. I've either went to school with people or played soccer or baseball or tennis or worked with them or they taught me or they're friends of friends. I, I can't, I don't have the privilege of taking, you know, going in and saying, here's my section, this is what I'm working on, we're done now. It, it just, uh, I don't have that privilege. I actually, you know, do have to pay attention to all facets of town because I'm close to someone just about everywhere. Any other audience questions? If there are none, we will proceed then to, uh, to uh, closing remarks.